Does she have the wooden dance or he has the wooden dance? She outdid herself. She usually does. I just wanted you to see it so that you can oh my God, this is so check. And see and check. I mean, this is exceeds yeah. all spec all expectations. Oh, this is wonderful. everything that I could have wanted. Okay. Oh. And yeah. 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 She in red yeah, yeah. really bad. No, I'm right here. Oh, there you are. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Talk to each other. There you go. Perfect. Oh, that's so tight. It feels so tight right there. I wish she would loosen it a little. Awesome. Love it. I wish she would loosen that hook, but it's so tight. Awesome. Perfect.
I don't know. I don't know. Just hang out. I do, I do, I do. <laughs>
Would everyone please rise? presents this beautiful bride to be wed today. Her dad. Thank you. <laughs> On behalf of Stacy and Chris, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of their family and friends. You guys can hold hands if you want to. <laughs> We gather and bear witness to their marriage. Oh, that's great. Look. <laughs> you guys are gonna have a great, great, great party tonight. This is gonna, this is a great, everybody looks great. The weather, eh. But you know what, friends and family, you're gonna make tonight a special night. Marriage is a promise made in the hearts of two people who love each other and which takes a lifetime to fulfill. Marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships within the circle of its love. A wife and a husband are each other's teacher, listener, critic, and best friend. It is into this relationship that this couple wishes to enter. We're here to celebrate this love and to give social recognition to their decision to commit themselves to this blessed union. All of us have a need and a desire to love and to be loved. And the highest form of love between two people is within a monogamous, committed relationship. Stacy and Chris, your marriage today is the public and legal joining of your souls. Marriage will allow you both a new environment to share your lives together. You will stand together to face life and the world hand in hand. This marriage is going to expand you as individuals, define you as a couple, and deepen your love for one another. To be successful, you need strength, courage, patience, and for you, a really good sense of humor. <laughs> So let your marriage be a time of waking each morning and falling in love with each other all over again. Also, Stacy and Chris would like me to extend a thank you for being here with them on their wedding day. They hope you will always be their village and that you will always support and encourage them. So this invitation is not just for one day or one evening. It is an open invitation to be a part of their life. Chris, Stacy, now is the time which you have chosen to become husband and wife. This unity is not entered into lightly. It's a reflection of your sincerity and commitment to each other as witnessed by your family and friends. We are not only to witness your commitment to each other, but to celebrate the love and trust you have found within one another. As some of you know, Chris and Stacy first met in law school. Although they initially caught each other's eye, their love story did not begin at that time. Chris coached Stacy on the Seton Hall Law softball team, and to this day, she prides herself on the fact that he started her at her favorite position in every game. So just so we know, where did you play on the field? What was your position? Second baseman. Second baseman. All right. <laughs> During that time, they formed a friendship that serves as the foundation of their love and commitment to each other. Now, almost eight years later, we welcome you to celebrate the start of the next chapter of their lives together. And to you, the guests, as families and friends, you form the community of support that surrounds this special couple. Each of you, by your presence here today, is being called upon to uphold them in honoring and loving each other. Always stand beside them, never between them. Offer them your love and support, not your judgment. Encourage them with your kindness and loving hearts and honor this marriage into which they have come to be joined today. At this time, Stacy and Chris wish to take a moment to remember those beloved family members and friends who could not be with them here today, especially Donna Chiuba, Esther Gagliardi, Richard Skoll, Nancy Nazaro, Nancy Errico, Joseph Errico, Frank Chalemi, Santina Chalemi, Lee Greco Cascarella, 
and Grace Ladosky. May their spiritual presence here today and always continue to influence Stacy and Chris as they begin this new life together. May their love always live within this blessed couple. Amen. And Stacy and Chris feel very strongly that the years of unconditional love, affection, and encouragement given to them by their mothers, Vicki and Kathy, have helped shape their lives into the loving and compassionate people they have become today. Both would like to offer a kiss of gratitude to the women who have given them this life. At this time, Stacy and Chris have asked their mothers, Kathy and Vicki, to each share a reading. May I ask Kathy to come forward, please? A reading from Paul's first epistle to the Corinthians. If I speak in tongues of mortals and of angels but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clang clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, Love never ends. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now I invite Vicki to come forward, please. reading from Paul's epistle to the Colossians. God loves you and has chosen you as his own special people. So be gentle, kind, humble, meek, and patient. Put up with each other and forgive anyone who does you wrong. Just as Christ has forgiven you, love is more important than anything else, it is what ties everything completely together. Each one of you is part of the body of Christ and you are chosen to live together in peace. So let the peace that comes from Christ control your thoughts and be grateful. Let the message about Christ completely fill your lives while you use all your wisdom to teach and instruct each other. With thankful hearts, sing songs and hymns and spiritual songs to God. Whatever you say or do should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus as you give thanks to God the Father because of him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you both. So as you both share with each other your creative differences, your life together, oh, she is so happy up here. He is too, but she is just beaming. <laughs> as you both share with each other your creative differences, your life together can become richer, more complete, and more soul-satisfying. Marriage, in this high sense, is uniting on all levels of your being, body, mind, heart, and spirit. The longer you live together, the more you grow and develop as individuals, the more you will have to contribute to your marriage. As witnesses to a marriage, we need to know that you are truly committed to entering into such a relationship. By stating your intentions before the love and support of your family and friends, you'll affirm this commitment. So Christopher, I have one very important question for you. Are you ready? He's ready. Do you, Christopher, take Stacy to be your lawfully wedded wife, to share your life openly, standing with her in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and love forevermore? I do. And do you, Stacy, take Christopher to be your lawfully wedded husband, to share your life openly, standing with him in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and love forevermore? I do. She does. So before you are joined in marriage in the spirit of grace and before your loving family and friends, I want to remind you both of the solemn and firm nature of the relationship into which you both are about to enter. The vows that you will express are meant to convey a true and intimate expression of your love and commitment for each other. 
Chris, may I ask you to state your true and personal vows to Stacy? Stacy, where do I even start? You came into my life like a shooting star that never burns out. I knew within minutes of our first date that we were soulmates. And as I stand here today, I can honestly say that I'm the luckiest man in the world. You're the most smart, beautiful, loving person I've ever met, and you never cease to amaze me with your incredible passion for life. My heart is yours, and I couldn't be more proud to commit myself to you today. You're the love of my life, my best friend, my partner in crime. I always tell you that I would be a fool to not do everything I can to keep that beautiful, smace, fa beautiful smile on your face. <laughs> smace. So that being said, I promise to be patient, loving, and faithful to you for eternity. I promise to give you a lifetime of laughter, happiness, and endless adventure. There's really never a dull moment with us. I promise to respect you, trust you, honor you, and support you unconditionally no matter what life throws at us. It is the greater, greatest honor of my life to stand here today and soon call you my wife. Wow, we're actually here. We actually made it to our wedding day, and I feel so lucky to be standing across from a man as incredible as you. You truly captivate and fascinate me every single day. I know you're my soulmate because literally every little tiny thing you do intrigues me. From the way you move, talk, look around, sleep, fidget. I know you all have witnessed that one. I love every single moment you are around me. I love when you're fresh, and I love when you're sweet. I love when you're my partner in crime, and I love how you always make me laugh when I'm freaking out. You are truly my rock, and I know that I don't want to go on this journey of marriage and kids and grandkids with any other man on the planet. You did something the other day that truly showed me how perfect we are for each other. I was up at 6 a.m., running around, freaking out as usual, worrying about the wedding, work, getting my workout in, and we were supposed to go to the gym together, but you decided to sleep in. Of course, I was upset at that, and being a brat, I made a lot of noise, and I turned on the lights. I even tried to steal your eye mask from you when you went to grab it. <laughs> Instead of yelling at me and perhaps escalating the situation, you grabbed your eye mask, put it on, and laughed a little. You also asked me what was wrong. I told you I was really upset about the fact that it was going to rain on our wedding day. And you immediately grabbed me and gave me a massive bear hug and said, everything's going to be okay, puppy. You just held me like that for five minutes. In that moment, I thanked God for you. Your reaction melted my heart and instantly made me feel like everything was actually gonna be okay. I could say that I've never met a man that made me feel that way. That sense of security, that sense of safety, a sense that everything will be okay. I know that with you, Chris Erico, by my side, everything will be okay. No matter what obstacles or challenges, life will certainly throw at us. As long as we have each other, I know that we'll make it through. I promise to be your rock in times of struggle. I promise to back you up when the world seems to be confronting you. But most of all, I promise to listen to you and trust you when you say everything's going to be okay. I love you. How about a little round of applause? I mean, those are yeah, us. Great. <laughs> May I ask the bridal party to return to their spots, please? Please rise and let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. You guys stay. You guys stay. Or you can, you can have a seat if you like. You guys can stay. Or you, want, you want to see this? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Having this love in your hearts, you have chosen to seal your vows by the exchanging of rings. 
From the earliest times, this circle has been a sign of completeness. The rings that you have chosen to wear have neither beginning nor end, much like your love for one another. They are a symbol of the words that you speak today. May I have the rings, please? May these rings be, from this day forward, your most treasured adornment. May the love they symbolize be your most precious possession. As you wear these rings, may they be a constant reminders of these glad promises you are making today. So, Chris. I repeat after me. Stacy, please accept this ring. Stacy, please accept this ring. As a sign, As a sign. of my love and fidelity. I give you this ring as a symbol of my constant love and devotion, which I pledge to you today and for the rest of my life. With this ring, I thee wed. It's on. after me. Christopher, please accept this ring. Christopher, please accept as a, as a sign of my love and fidelity. Of my love and fidelity. I give you this ring, you this ring as, a symbol as a symbol of my constant love and devotion, of my constant love and devotion which I pledge to you today and for the rest of my life. With this ring, With this ring I thee wed. Would everyone please rise? So your first gift to each other for your wedding today has been your wedding rings. The rings will always be a symbol of your vows of love and respect. In addition, you both have been given one of the most valuable and precious gifts of life, the gift of true and abiding love within the devotion of a marriage. You now have what remains the most honorable title that exists between a man and a woman, the titles of wife and husband. May joy and peace surround you both, contentment latch your door, and happiness be with you now, and God bless you both evermore. Chris and Stacy have joined together in holy matrimony, witnessed the same before God and this company of friends and family, given their love each to the other, and declared this love by the giving and receiving of rings. May you strive always to meet this commitment with the same spirit you now show. By the power vested in me by the state of New Jersey, I am honored to present you as Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Errico. Chris, you may kiss your bride.
very common. And I don't think my friend is stupid. Um, I'm lucky too. Wait, wait. Thank <laughs> you. 
Or we would bring uh, Bill Sorello up and have him do another rendition of uh, Elvis Presley. It was incredible last night. Yeah. Wig Man and you was the best time of my life. Near Chris's office. 
Chris, at this point, you might as well learn how to work upside down. <laughs> Alright, so although one of Chris's favorite pastimes is uh, pushing people's buttons, anyone who knows him would also say that he's one of the most devoted friends that you can have. He's always willing to show his loyalty, no matter the consequence. For instance, as a member of the infamous Wolf Pack, Chris was asked to brand the letters NJ into his shoulder <laughs> in tribute to this badass brotherhood. And without hesitation, Chris fashioned a branding iron out of a hanger wire and pressed it against his arm, spelling anything but the letters NJ. <laughs> Honestly, it just looks like a blob of uh, flesh to this day. I cringe every time I look at it. But um, every time I do, it's a reminder of just how far Chris will go to show his loyalty to his friends. As a man of complete dedication, Chris knows what he wants and is blessed enough to know how to get it. That being the case, he knew well enough that it would take not one, but two bachelors to fill his best man role. So here we are, half honored by the gesture and half shamed by the truth. <laughs> so in preparation of looking up to our co-best man title, Anthony and I, um, quickly got to work and determined there would be only one possible course of action for us to best serve Chris on the most important day of his life. To attend, marriage counseling retreat. <laughs> so after one week of observation and countless awkward stares, we're eager to report back to Chris and share with him our top six ingredients to a successful marriage. So and sit back, relax, and prepare yourself to be schooled by two self-proclaimed marriage aficionados. <laughs> All right, so to kick things off, marriage Ooh. requires compatibility. Although these two scholars went back in law school, it wasn't the classroom that brought them together. Rather, it was a little matchmaking app called Tinder. <laughs> and after making several phone calls and written requests to Tinder, we finally got a hold of their original profile. Drum roll. Yeah. Put some more.
We're excited to see the everlasting love that awaits the marriage of Stacy. no stranger to this concept, as working for law partners John Perry and Victor have helped kick his butt into gear. However, this was not always the case. Oh <laughs> it has been said that in the second year associate, Chris once clocked in at 37 billable hours in a month. To help you with the math, that average is out to about a billable hour a day. And as you can imagine, this is probably one of those recycling bin moments. Oh my God. Chris has come a long way, though. His dedication to the firm is resolute. He's now managing associates with oversight over others with the promise of future. Alright, so marriage also requires commitment. Commitment to the love of your life. Like buddy. Once Chris has his mindset, nothing can stop him. <laughs> not his loafers, <laughs> not his restrictive dress life, not even his work assignments at hand. Channel properly, this is the kind of focus and commitment that will lay the foundation to a long and lasting marriage. <laughs> Marriage requires sacrifice. We all know that Chris is a very opinionated person. He knows what he wants, and more times than not, gets what he wants. That is until a certain someone swipes into his life. Since meeting Stacy, he has become more open-minded to certain lifestyle changes, such as Whoa! Watching reruns of The Bachelorette while rating guys via his love scorecard. Becoming a shotgun shooting, flannel wearing, Kenny Chesney fan. Spray tanning during winter months at all black tie events, including tonight. And spending the holiday season on Broadway watching the Rockets. Hashtag Christmas Spectacular. Hashtag Loving Life. <laughs> this is Loving Life indeed. And Stacy is clearly the reason behind that. So uh, I'm going to get serious for a moment. And uh, I want to say that naturally, when one of your best friends starts to date someone new, you can't help but get a little nervous with a bizarre pattern. Something's going to change, and that uh, might drift apart. But that's not the case at all with Chris and Stacy. Stacy's one of our favorite people. We love hanging out with her. We love her to death. So um, rather than losing a best friend, we gain a new one in Stacy. Not only that, her, not only has Stacy embraced us, but her entire family has, and uh, that goes. Without saying for the Ericos, who have been a second family to us for as long as we can remember. Countless trips, countless amounts of food. <laughs> Stacy, ever since we met you, we instantly liked you, of course, and knew that you were perfect. You're beautiful inside and out. You're absolutely hilarious. You're smart. Kind, warm, charismatic, the, the best football there is. And, um, and most importantly, you made Chris happy in ways that we never could. <laughs> <laughs> and above all, since you've come to know Chris, you've seen remarkable changes. You've gained a kind of patience and wisdom that only comes with true love. So if we can raise a glass. I'm my glass. 
Derek. Oh, best man. Oh, best man. Here's to Chris and Stacy for a lifetime of fun, happiness, and love. Hello. Hello. And now we'd like to invite up our maids of honor, Julie and Rebecca, to say a few words. Hey guys. So I'm Julie. I'm uh, Stacy's sister.
So back to the beginning. Yes, Chris is one of the most important people in my life. Because now, he gets to take care of my best friend. Chris makes Stacy the happiest she has ever been. And for that, he's one of the most important people in my life. So Chris, love her and admire her. Honor her and cherish her. Even though she may fight hard sometimes, she loves even harder. Never forget the love that brought you two here today, forever and always. Congratulations, Stacy and Chris. I love you so much. Hey everybody, so uh, Stacy and I just wanted to thank all of you for being here tonight, um, you guys. If this isn't a goodbye speech, we're going to have an, another hour of dance set, so stay around. Yeah, don't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we just wanted to thank all of you for being here and celebrating this really special weekend with us and making it that much more special that you're all here. Um, so we just really appreciate it, we can't tell you how much you all mean to us. Uh, hey Scott, shut up. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, all of you in, in some shape or another have influenced our lives and made us who we are today. And uh, Stacy and I are eternally grateful for your love and your friendship. Um, so we just want to thank you. Um, I also want to take a second, I'd, I'd like to thank my parents, uh, mom, dad, uh, wherever you are. Uh, you're gonna have to show me whatever book or course you guys took in the art of patience, uh, cause you know, I don't know how you put up with me for all those years, so uh, I just appreciate the endless love and support and I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you, so I love you guys, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah. um, we'd also, next I'd like to thank Bert and Vicki and just the entire tree and family. Um, you guys are, are just so incredible. Uh, you're just such amazing people. I, I couldn't, in my wildest dreams, imagine joining a family that could be more loving and receptive and welcoming. And um, it, it's just remarkable. So uh, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. I can't wait. I wish I had a drink. So <laughs> go over here real quick. Stace. Oh, 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 hang on. Got it. Yeah, there we go. Um, next, I, I'd like to thank um, Anthony and Adrian. That speech was incredible. Um, Julie, Rebecca, I mean, unbelievable. Just, you guys are the best. And thank you to our groomsmen and our bridesmaids. You guys helped make this day as special as it is. So thank you so much. You guys are the best. We love you. Um, one more thing. Um, lastly and most importantly, I'd like to thank Stacy um, for. Look how beautiful she is. Look at this girl. I mean, is this the most beautiful bride you've ever seen in your life? I mean, look at this. It's just, it's just incredible. So, Stacy, uh, thank you for marrying me. <laughs> thank you for giving me the honor of standing here and committing myself to you and spending the rest of my life with you. It's the greatest honor in the world and I love you to death. Um, and for all of you who know me, 
and for all of you who know Stacy, you know that all of this is not possible if it wasn't for Stacy. Uh, with juggling vendors, the whole jungle theme you got going on here, or Enchanted Forest, I think Stacy calls it. <laughs> um, and, and somehow, on top of all of this that she's done, in her downtime, she still managed to figure out how to be a full-time lawyer. So, um, I, I think that's just a testament to how remarkable and special and spectacular this woman really is, and I just couldn't be more excited to marry you. And call you my wife. So thank you, everybody. And Chase, do you have anything? Do you want to add? We good? You can't add? All right. Thank you. Salute. Keep it up for our blind and groom, ladies and gentlemen.
I know it breaks your heart Go to the city in a broke down car and On your shoulder the shoes I love the corner of that mattress that you stole From your room 